Hello again, watch lovers. This is Charles Wallingford back again with another watch review. And today I am reviewing the Tudor Fast Rider Black Shield reference M42000CN-0017. This watch to many is known as the Black Daytona. Sure, Tudor is from the same company and the tachymeter and dial layout is similar, but this watch is quite different from the Rolex Daytona. Before we get started, a little back history or backstory of the Fast Rider Black Shield. This watch, in conjunction with Ducati, first debuted, debuted in 2013 with its red indices version. Later in 2015, other versions and various indices and dial colors appeared. This is the white indices variation. Let's take a look at the dial. As I stated, this version sets itself apart with its white applied indices to include the raised Tudor shield at 12 o'clock. Along with the shield, the hour markers are raised applied faceted indices. The dial as a whole has a lot going on, such as the Tudor badging at 12 o'clock, the raised slope rings of the subdial, and many tick marks around the dial. To have all these things going on and not look jumbled, it, it is brilliantly achieved by not having numerals, only using two basic colors while allowing shadows and textures to provide separation and organization. Let's move on to the case. At 42 millimeters by 14.5 millimeters, this watch commands a bit of wrist presence, but stays away from being obnoxious. The matte black finish also adds a calming effect. The screw down crown and the pushes are black PVD steel. This watch, like the more refined Big Brother, the Rolex Daytona, is a speed measuring chronograph as we can see here with its engraved tachymeter bezel. From the profile view, this watch is nothing like the Daytona with its sharp corners and lines. Let's move on to the technical. The water resistance of this watch is 150 meters. This is assisted and achieved by the screw down crown. This watch is ran on the Swiss automatic ETA 7753 chronograph movement with a 46 hour power reserve. The 7753 movement utilizes a tool to change the date, which can be a little inconvenient. Let's move on to the strap. This strap is black leather with matching white stitching, which accents the dial. The strap sets tight on the case, giving an appearance of being integrated. The clasp is one of my favorite elements of this watch. In my experience, this is the nicest, smoothest, easily manipulated, yet it is reassuringly secure. Okay, here's a shot on the wrist. This watch wears true to current styles of today. At 42 millimeters, two millimeters over the test of time sweet spot, it still may be a classic one day. The height of 14.5 millimeters allows it to slide under a cup, which will give the wearer a bit of conservative sensibility. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is my review of the Tudor Fast Rider Black Shield White Indices. I think this is the best variation and requires a second or even third look. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. I'm Charles Wallingford, and this is how I would spend my money.